Hello guys. I am Little Nicky. And I am proud to show you the best replay in the best tank in the world of tanks. But before we start, I have a personal message for all the players that end up on the enemy team. My name is Nicky and I'm gonna kill all you suckers for no reason. Say hello to my little friend. I got the progetto guys. Look at it. Oh, holy moly. Yes, after a few long days, I got my progetto. It looks nice. Let's put some skills in it, on him. Doesn't have very big concealment. But we're gonna grow it up. I usually put concealment on all crew members. Then when it gets to 100% I retrain the commander only and put the six cents. Then when it's done I put repairs on all of them and when it's a hundred percent I switch it to Bia Brothers in Arms then I put camo on on the commander and uh, repairs on everything else and the fourth skill is the other stuff now if you can see I uh, I put like 20% gold ammo 5% HE and the rest AP because you sometimes you need gold ammo but most of the time you need a APs <clears throat> and some HEs for those resets right put some camo that we got on the mission so this took me I don't know I guess two days I took it I completed the two days before the mission ended and every time you have to look at the, the ammo before you go into battle for the first time they show you accelerate the cruise because throw the put some experience not in the crew but just keep it on the tank and it's not worth it now let's see the spaghetto in action oh pardon me the geppetto no the progetto i like to call it the geppetto because he's the father of the italian tanks Right, he's the first. So nothing special so far. We are going to do some spotting. We missed the J Panther. He was too fast. Too good. Mm, that 8.8 centimeter Jack Tiger might have some problems. There are two heavies there against only one TD. But I think you can manage it. So we spot the love and we know he's coming right there. And look what he does. 
He's coming back for more. Now don't do that guys. When you're spotted, find cover. Even if you do not see the enemy. Because th that can happen to you. Now he's gone. He's learned his lesson. Although the the heavies on the right are going to push the TD and we have to help him. He's not expecting this. Hello, T29. It is. Maybe he said before he charged Drake, we are leaving. <laughs> But the KV-3 didn't hear him. Now there could be a problem, they could cap us. But it's not a great idea to for me to go there alone. Look at how many tanks are there. Enemy tanks on, on the left and on the right how many allied tanks. So I'm, I knew I, I'm going to take one shot from the tiger but I was hunting the KV-3 so now we're just gonna play with him come on buddy let me just squeeze through there okay thank you just sit there sit there and look pretty we finish him off as soon as we load now we have to go to the cap. But I'm not going to be the one that decaps. We're gonna have a hero. The the light AMX 1375. Look at that hero. It just goes in and tries to reset. Suicides. And didn't get to reset but there's no problem somebody else will the type 59 another hero thank you to the type 59 if he wouldn't reset then we would have lost I was busy with the tiger now I can go reset safely or just kill him. We don't need the reset. So this is the Progetto when it behaves well. When you find the one versus one battles. You know, this tank dies if it goes into one versus two or more. And it uh, plays well in a pack. If you got two, three projectiles and you go at the same place, then you can really chew up the enemy. So we did well for an average player. So yeah, this tank is good. Three point seven K damage. We made some credits. It makes credits like any other normal premium tier eight tank. So that was the damage round part. Now let's see how it behaves while spotters. We are here on Kampanovka, as others <laughs> like to say to call it. <laughs> so I'm going to spot, I'm going to be a spotter this round. And if I go here, I know that I cannot come back. Either we win this side here, or if we lose it, I'm dead. So I don't get spotted. And we go silently here in the bush. And we're not 
breathing to our mouth, we're breathing to our nose, so the enemy won't hear us. And we just hit here. And the damage starts building up. Now I was so tempted to pull the trigger, you, you don't know how, how much I wanted to shoot. But I knew if I would shoot, then I would be dead. The other spotter would be on this side, let's say the P Victoria, but he's too far back. So I, I don't think he, he would spot all these guys. He would spot one of two or two, but not all of those guys. So it's okay that I'm doing the spotting here. But sadly, the left side is going to collapse. I wanted to shoot him. I'm thinking about it. Still thinking. <laughs> but look, what a nice position for a spotter. If you want to make a spot and spotter mission, you can come here. If you do not get spotted until you get to the bush, then you are safe. Only the only bad thing is you cannot live here. If you leave, all those tanks will see you and kill you. And you cannot shoot, of course, because they will spot you. <clears throat> and if there weren't any backup guys to back me up, to hit what I spot, then it would have been a waste of time sitting here. So we are kind of lucky that we have good TDs in the back. They got my back, man. Now that other prosciutto crudo <laughs> is making some problems. He just doesn't want to die. But he's determined to die because he just keeps poking on the right, on the wrong uh, sides. If I was him, I would have poked in the bush right there up the hill. And probably he wouldn't get spotted by me. But sadly he wants to fight. Or probably I'm spotting him. Even if he's going up the bush, I don't know. Come on, I was so tempted to shoot. But if I if I would have shot, I would have been dead. I'm just waiting for the most of the tanks to die from this side and then to push. But they just don't want to die. They want to keep on living. You murderers, cannibals. The left side is gone. Now someone pinged the map, but there's some enemy there. I'm acknowledging it. I'm gonna be paying attention to that side a little more. Trying to get into the bushes so I can shoot him. It's another spaghetto. Good. I didn't have to shoot. Like I said, if I would have taken a shot, I would have got many, many other responses in in return <laughs> from the VK, SU, 
101 and the uh, T10 come on every time I spotted them I was saying like in the Batman movie like the Joker said rack em up rack em up <laughs> every time <laughs> every time I saw an enemy which made it more fun because the final is not not so fun so if the game is not fun you have to make it fun guys the conqueror is going down and the other guy I don't know who is there with him you can see it on the map ah, the progetto another prosciutto so any moment now I'm gonna switch to gold ammo and prepare for my push three four tanks left from our side three tanks We're just going down like heroes. Damn bounce. Hit and another bounce. But I got lucky, I blocked the hit. I don't know how, because this tank has no armor. Although it has a very interesting auto loading system. It loads while you shoot. Or something like that and you kind of get the feeling if you do not shoot all the three shells you get the feeling that you are always loaded it's kind of interesting now this guy's this guy is has got me you got me pal you got me gg to the enemy team sadly we lost but we made a lot of spotting and that means a lot of credits for us I got the spotter patrol duty so I didn't hit the SU-101 with both of the shells, only one. I thought I hit one. So first on experience, but sadly we lost. What can you do? When the world is against you, you can do only so much. So this is an average play by an average player. So you can have rounds like this if you're an average player if you're better then of course you will have better results with the Progetto I'm just talking for the working guy the, the average guy average Joe as they say speaking of average Joes look at this guy Look what he's saying. Fuck you noob, you fucking... <laughs> 10 tier versus 8, you are, too, you are hero. Noob. So this guy is complaining because he came into the city in, in the Live Oaks maps. We spawned at uh, A, B line on the top right corner and he came into the city with the heavies and I killed him and now he's complaining in my channel that I killed him come on you can't be that bad I mean if you go into the city where are tier tanks heavy tanks then yeah you might get killed you do it 
you're doing it at your own risk. I don't know why he's complaining, but I see a lot of things like this these days. So you can be average, but don't be stupid. Because stupidity will be dealt with accordingly. So thanks for watching my clip guys. See you on the next one. Bye bye.